Hey everyone, Snazzy Gamebot here, and this is the Aluxum Game Card Reader. It holds up to eight Switch cartridges at once. It allows you to switch which game it's reading with the button or the clicker here. Uh, of course, both are ideal for different scenarios depending on your setup, uh, but either way, this part plugs in to the Switch itself when this is mounted on the dock. So, first we have <clears throat> the unit itself, a Luxem branding right there, the button itself, nice little click, the card slots for the reader, so 1 through 8. We have the USB-C port here because that is going to plug with this wire which is going to go into the dock. Ideally, if you have a TV set up with your Switch, you're not going to want to get up every time to click the button to switch. So now you have this remote. It's got a nice click on it. You saw the light there, and it's got a nice little rubber end. Here's the unit. It's going to slide it into your Switch dock like that. Basically, this part's going to be facing the back side. And then, of course, this is going to flip over. So that's when you get your Switch. Place it in there nice and snug. Now it looks a bit beefier, right? And then you're just going to plug that in. You can use one of these USB slots here. I'll use this first one. There we go. And then I'm just going to plug it right here. Switch in the dock with the switcher, as you can see, set up here by my Xbox on my monitor, and of course the uh, PC over there. All that I do with the HDMI switcher right there. On each one, it won't show that it's in there because you're supposed to press either the physical button or the uh, the remote right here. So I'm gonna do that. And that switch does to Pokemon Shield. So I'm going to load up Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team DX. Let me pick up the volume so you guys can hear that. Let's see. Yeah, but my speaker was low on battery, so you can see that long wire where it's charging over there. Yeah. I'd probably play with it at that volume. But yeah, as you can see... Working great. <sighs> Got my team here. But you want to switch games? Okay, you, you quit. You press the remote or the button. You go to another game. I don't feel like playing Pokemon Shield right now. <laughs> so that's the only thing that's a little annoying. But I'm sure... With future iterations, you know, they can change some things ab about it and make it a bit easier to access the one you want to play directly instead of having to click it multiple times, right? So I'm sure with future iterations, they'll do that because this is actually already the second iteration. The first one was only four cartridge slots with no clicker. Then the second one added the button and this is actually the third one from what I've seen on Amazon. This is the third one, it has the switch button and it's got the remote, so ideally I think this is the best one for multiple setups, right? In my case, I don't play docked a lot, but I like the concept behind it, I think it's very convenient, and my speaker's dying, <laughs> but I think it's very convenient and makes it a seamless, you know, mostly, slim, mostly seamless experience when you're playing. Someone like me who hardly plays Doc, maybe I'd get the original where it's just four cartridges and, you know, deal with having to change the button because, again, in my setup, it's really not that far. Um, and again, I usually play handheld anyways. I wanted to test two things. First, if this could work in handheld mode because this is just powered by USB-C and this has a USB-C port. So by using a USB-C to USB-C cable, it does indeed work. The second thing that kind of clicked in my head before I was finishing the edit of this video was, wait, instead of clicking it multiple times, you could just move the cartridges. I mean, 
you don't have to be that lazy, right? So, in this case, I want to play a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Instead of pressing it, I could just in theory switch it with either of these because it just jumps to the one you put in. So I could switch it to the first one or I could just put it back in eight and it's going to jump right back to Mystery Dungeon. So in that case, you really don't have to worry of about clicking it multiple times because look, I just put in Smash Bros and uh, guess what? I went to Smash Bros. <laughs>